Next item is to Mayor's consideration to approve the request to waive the 12-month waiting period for the resubmittal of a rezoning request for property located east of Spencer Lake Drive and Paget Road intersection, approximately 11.1 .1 acres. And uh, good evening. How are you, Chris? Mr. Great. Paxton, would you explain to the folks at home on TV kind of what's going on, please, sir? Well, um, thank you, Mayor, Council. At the July 11th meeting of the City Council, the appeal of the Planning Commission's denial for requested rezone of the approximately 11.6 acres east of the intersection of Spencer Lake Drive and Paget Road from A1 to a PUD was denied. <clears throat> the zoning code prohibits a rezoning application within one year from the effective date for, of the final denial action unless authorized by the City Council by a two-thirds vote. Staff recommends approval of the request as presented. The council tonight, I'm, I'm brief finished, Chris, I'm sorry. Yes, sir. Council tonight, this would require a two-thirds vote of the council. There's seven members present. It would take six positive votes for this to pass. So with that being said, we'll this back to you guys on how you want to proceed. Because I messed up earlier. Yes, go ahead. Okay. Okay. Chris, may I ask <clears throat> if we, the purpose of that ordinance, I'm sure, is a very valid one. I know what it is. I mean, we, um, I think we all do. So, is it, so someone can sit back and rethink the whole project, or whatever. And I think if we let one person, if we just waive that for one person, what are we going to tell the next person that asks us to waive it for them? Mayor, if I can respond to that. Yes, sir. I believe that yeah. if, uh, I believe that any time this has ever been requested, and in recent times it has been approved, um, I, I can't, I did have my staff look back uh, um, and they were unable to find, at least recently, an, an example of where this waiver was requested, where it was denied. I can, I can attest to the fact the nine years that I was on the Planning Commission, we approved every single time. Okay, so why do we have that rule? Um, if I can respond? Yes, sir. Um, so typically, whenever a city council has this moratorium, it's to prevent repetitive uh, applicants. For example, if I request a property to be rezoned to R, R1, and the Planning Commission or City Council denies that. It's typically there to prevent me from making that request over and over. So it's okay. it's a stop. It's, it's essentially a stop sign to uh, prevent that person from submitting a, the same application over and over. And I think if, if this were to be approved, it would go back to the Planning it would start is the whole correct? process. It would start back the process over. all over. That is correct. It would, this would just allow an applicant to bring forward um, the rezone request. It would go through the typical process. They wouldn't have any different uh, different process through the rezone process. They would still have to do the public notice, uh, uh, just like um, any typical rezone from A1 to an R1. And we anticipated this. I mean, it, mm -hmm. yeah. they didn't want the PUD, which I understood, but can't hardly tell somebody that they can't that they can't zone at R one. I mean, you're talking to me. Oh I, no, I, I'm talking oh, to everybody. You okay. just happen to be across okay. from me. Yes, I get. I get you. Just, you're just always in my line. No, side. no, that's <laughs> great. No, I understand it. I um, I guess I just I'm not. A, we've been talking about this way. I've been hearing about this way too long. Well, until something goes there, and that's my job. That's my job. I am glad to do it. I love talking to people, and just I. But so far, I've not heard anything positive from any of the people that I've talked to, and and no, that's fine if it doesn't go away. I'm just saying. It's just like that little triangle of land that was out there. Where was it? You know that little. It's triangle? right across from. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, you know where I'm talking about. Yeah. It kept coming back and coming back, and the residents wanted to know, when is this going to be over? Well, it's not going to be over until something's approved. I mean, people can can just keep requesting, and it, it's, it can just keep coming back in front of us until something goes there. So. And it's very typical to approve A1 to R1. That's kind of the, that's, that's the logical. That's not what we're voting on. 
No, no, no we're not. No, no. No. But, no, we're not but we knew that's where no. it was going. Yeah. yeah. But it, it talks about in here what they pl what they plan to ask for. It's part of the what they brought this morning. Okay, by the same token. We're not rezoning it. We're sending well, it back. I know to what the I'm saying is the land hadn't been purchased yet, so we don't know what the next buyer might want to put. Right. I mean, because of the lake and all that sort of thing, it'd be great if somebody could turn it into a wetland reserve, but I just don't know that anybody that can afford 11 acres at that site to do that. Mayor. So something's going to go in there at some point. Yes. I would like to point out that the applicant does have a representative present if you have any questions for them. Okay. I, it'll be up to the council uh, because they've had the public hearings on this. We've allowed yeah. folks to speak at the council meetings. If the council so chooses, they can allow representatives of both sides to speak or they can as a group y'all can make a decision not it's up to y'all well, yes sir go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was gonna say um, the people that have reached out to me and the ones that even reached out to me before the last meeting had said they were not opposed to an R1 which I found interesting but they were opposed to the PUD mm -hmm. so um, the only one that I have heard from in regards to this tonight is someone that wanted us to do a compromise and look at putting either 20 or 30 houses there. And I explained to them that once the property is rezoned, that dictates what can go there. We can't tell someone once it's we been could have, zoned. It was a PUD. Yes. That didn't, yes. That didn't fly. Yes. <laughs> and, I, and I explained yeah. to them, I said, I think the developer was considering the PUD as a compromise. Mm -hmm. So um, I don't know how many people that you've heard from, but like I said, they were all like, well, we wanted the R1, and that's what was first proposed, and we didn't understand why the PUD. So now it's like it's going back to what the people had heard in the beginning that they said that they wanted the PU, they didn't want the PUD. So at this point, it's kind of like I explained to the one person that I had talked to that brought it up. I said, you know, again, it's going to be developed. They were opposed to the PUD. So in our normal progression is to an R1. So. Mr. Hawkins. Uh, mine is just a, a numbers uh, question, Mr. Mayor, and maybe uh, to city attorney. Uh, there are seven members here tonight. Is it two-thirds of the present members or two-thirds of the whole? It's two-thirds of the council membership, so two-thirds so two of, two eight. of eight. Then. Six is the number that and will be six needed. is the number. Thank you. Okay. Council, back to you. I'll make a motion to send it back to the Planning Commission. Okay. I have a motion and a second to send this back to the City Council. Planning, planning, planning Commission. Commission. I'm sorry. So we're going to waive the 12 months? Yes. Right. What? Let me read my notes here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just I have a motion and a second to waive the 12 month waiting period for the resubmittal of zoning request at Spencer Lake uh, Drive and Paget Road. Any further discussion? Garrett. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed. No. Okay, show me the hands of the eyes. <clears throat> Notes. Back to you, Mr. Finkenbeiner. How does this work? Four to three vote. It's not a vote of the whole. It's a vote of the whole. It would have still been six. Is that right? Correct? Right. As I understand it, the motion was to waive the 12 month requirement for resubmission to the Planning Commission or yes. the Zoning Code. That would require, in order for that motion to pass, six positive votes. Or, as I understood, there were only three, four positive votes. Four. Mm -hmm. Four to three. Four positive, three negative. So the motion does not pass. That's what passed. I thought. All right. 